We are now just five days away from the solar eclipse that's set to happen across North America. You can see most of that eclipse from right here in our area. We have a QR code that's right there on your screen right now that you can scan to find out everything you need to know about viewing the eclipse from the time it starts to how to take the best photos. But it's really important that you do it all in the safest way possible. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin now with more. These glasses have started to go on sale in places like the Franklin Institute. They are going to be a hot ticket item for Monday because doctors tell us if you want to look up, you're going to need to have a pair of eclipse glasses. It is one of nature's greatest shows and on Monday afternoon, people across North America will have a front row seat to the solar eclipse. The visible light that normally would uh, be blinding to us temporarily um, isn't there. It's it's blocked by the moon and so that allows us to stare at the sun. But Dr. Joel Schumann, an ophthalmologist at Will's Eye Hospital, says staring at the sun can do a lot of harm to the eye. You would burn the part of the retina that has the most sensitive, sharpest vision because you're looking directly at the sun. That would lead to solar retinopathy. Dr. Schumann says it can cause severe eye injury, ranging from temporarily impaired vision to permanent blindness. It can take somebody from seeing 2020 to seeing 2200. Whatever age you are, it will affect um, the eye health the same. At St. Christopher's Hospital for Children, they are handing out these eclipse glasses to patients. Doctors say to make sure yours are approved by the U.S. International Standards Organization with an ISO 12312-2 on them. You can get them at retailers like 7-Eleven, Lowe's, Walmart, Staples, Wegmans, Cracker Barrel, and Warby Parker. Or you can use old eclipse glasses from the 2017 eclipse as long as they aren't damaged or warped. Doctors say eye protection is critically important in our area because we're set to experience a partial eclipse. With the partial ones, you are still getting part of that harmful UV and infrared radiation from the sun. And so we actually have to be more careful with a partial eclipse versus a total eclipse. It's not just your eyes that need protection. Doctors tell us if you're planning to capture the eclipse with your telescope, a camera, or a cell phone, you'll need a special filter for that. Head to our website, 6abc.com, for a full list of places to buy these glasses and to get those filters. Inside of the Franklin Institute, I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6 Action News.